So the girls had their go in the 100 back. It's the boys' turn now. And up and going and uh, here well uh, on form and what we saw this morning and on paper, uh, Maggie, definitely Mitch Larkin. 53-1-8. Here's the Commonwealth record holder at 52-1-1. He'd dearly love to get under 53 seconds here. Yeah, he looks awesome here as he goes under the flags. That stroke rate stayed right up that full 100 metres. Oh, good swim. 52-3-8. And you're talking, what, 20... Seven one hundreds out his own Commonwealth record, so right on the money. Mitch Larkin not missing a beat in that one. We said he looks red hot this morning. That's a huge swim tonight. He's absolutely dominated the rest of the field there. I was never in doubt. Yeah, happy with that. Um, this morning was a really good swim. Um, you know, I set it up really well. Low, nice low stroke rates. Um, I was sort of swimming at a two hundred stroke rate, and I went fifty three one. So. I knew I was swimming well, body's in great shape, I've done lots of work and then tonight was just about sort of trusting myself, um, not, not rushing, holding lots of water um, and to go that quick, you know, it's been a couple of years. I think Queensland States in 2015, I went 52.5 maybe and so to go quicker again tonight, a couple of years later is, all, is awesome. When's the last time you felt this good going into a, a, a major uh, league? That's interesting, uh, feeling good is one of those things, you know, you don't you don't swim your fastest when you're feeling the best sometimes. It's just about racing and um, to be honest, I sort of haven't felt awesome. I knew I was fit, um, my stroke's really good, um, but you know, you can't um, compare the two at times. So I knew I was swimming well, Dean's been clocking me at some crazy times and I sort of go, are you sure about that? And he shows me the watch, which is awesome, so I'm really happy.